Hello, hello, and welcome back to some more Wild Frost. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. I believe I was Junk Clan last, so we're going on to Snow Clan. Moral 4, Lockwood, and Jom. Jom is a nice name, although this unit does not interest me, I would say. Ooh, Moral 4 is interesting. Lockwood would probably be very solid early, very safe. I like this face too. With very beautiful eyes. Um, Moral Four has lots more potential with a carry, such as Foxy or uh, some other frenzy unit, maybe Tiny Tycho. Um, I think I'm gonna do this. This looks nice, and Moral Four is also very happy to be here, and uh, and here to defeat the Wild Frost. I think I'm gonna go with a unit that has. Damage, and I think Snoof's a great choice. Snoof also has potential for synergies with the Snow Clan itself, with Yuki and Wallop and such. All right, let's go kill some snowmen. Okay, this thing has a scary charm, so don't mind. Go ahead and drop this down. And I believe, yeah, we'll be able to. I can kill like this next turn. Can't smack back because of snow, obviously, and then we'll just grab your sword. Oh no, Snoof should be behind my guy. Ah, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Alright, let me see what's going on here. I might just snipe this off now and then go look for snow for the goblin. Yeah, yeah, let's just try to farm this goblin as much as we can. So, five. I think we will do the 5 damage here. Because then we can combo. We'll do six of this. We can combo next turn with Snoof. On the Gobbling. Maybe I could have farmed a little bit more gold now no, I'm thinking about it, actually. I should have. I should have Scrappy Sorted Gobbling last turn. It's all good, though. No big deal. Alright, baby Snowbow. Low woodhead tank this hit. And these guys are attacking at the same time, which is good. If we want to kill. Ah, we can do it anyway. I'll just do this though. Alright. Cool. Let's see how we can improve this deck now. 63 is fine on Snowbow Squad. I think I'd like to go up two treasures. Blink Snow Cave does not provide any immediate benefit. Though I am starting to lean a bit more towards potentially uh, taking Blink Snow Caves earlier because I have had a couple of scenarios where I either want something at the shop um, and buy it and then I can't afford the next shop's crown, which has been that, I would say, so maybe that's an adjustment to make. Pepper Flag is here. So Shroomine might be better right now, but Pepper Flag has a lot of potential and I already have some spice. Let's do it. I also like Pepper Flag and I don't take it very often because I usually don't take it um, without any spice and I usually don't take spice. Okay, well now we have spice. Moko Totem. Can we get away with this Moko Totem? I I I very rarely take Moko Totem. Let me check my journal actually. See if I've even taken it. Um, Moko Totem. No, I haven't. So I'm going to take this, partially for this reason, partially to get more uh, info on it, and partially because I think it be, could be good this game. We have some spice. We're obviously gonna we're gonna need more spice than this. It's a bit of a shame that I see both of these because I would kind of like both of these right now. But let's uh, see if we can make Moko Totem work. Moko Totem has the benefit of doing a ton of damage uh, outright whenever it attacks, so it sort of ramps up in the combat and then pretty much solves combats until later in the game. The issue is it doesn't quite have enough punch to kill the heart fight necessarily. Okay, we have Foxy, Snoffle, and Snobble. Foxy makes a tremendous amount of sense with spice. I should just take this. 
yeah, it's hard to say no to that. Unless I had something crazy going with Snobble, which, it, you know, not not crazy yet. Let's go kill some mushrooms. I should drop snow first. I'm probably snowing the strudels as well, but I'll drop this first. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> that would have been so bad. I might have just lost on the spot. Okay. Um, so I'm debating on this or just maybe Moko Totems. I have to do four attacks for Moko Totem to ever go off here. I don't know if that's worth it. Moko Totems may be like a next combat thing when I have more uh, more spice to work with. Maybe this is just a blocker for now. Because honestly, once my I get my Foxy out too, I'm, I'm gonna want the spice going on Foxy. Foxy's also a great user of spice. I think I'm just gonna hit this thing so I don't have to think about it too much more. And we'll go find our Foxy. Scary. Hello, Foxy. Um, it's a little awkward because I want to play Pepper Flag so this doesn't go away, but I need to snow this thing. I could also let Melko Totem tank, actually. Like, this is an option. And then we can play Foxy and Pepper Flag. Although, no, I can't play Foxy and Pepper Flag because I want to have one of them will have to go up. Um, let's do Foxy. And we go ahead and do this. It's a little shame that this doesn't die here. I am going to let the Pop Shroom go into Moko Totem, I think, is actually what I'm going to do. Ah, once again, the problem is I, this thing's aimless. Jeez. I'm just gonna start with this then. Maybe I won't play Pepper Flag yet. I don't really need to play Pepper Flag this turn, actually. If you think about it, I can just do this. I guess I'll just take four gold before this guy runs away. Yeah, not ideal combat so far, I would say, but not the end of the world. This is nice too, because even though he has a poison, he can block one more hit. Should be good. Um, and I think we want you... Uh, actually, no, let's, yeah, let's go down with Snoo. Slow the Veiled Lady down a bit. Veiled Lady is probably getting blocked by Woodhead. So, 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. Should I play Woodhead here? Probably. Yeah, so we're killing... Yeah, the other option was to go look for a Scrappy Sword, so I can get a 2 combo, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Let's... Pull... Let's just make you go again, I think, actually. Or can we get a... Can we get a 3 combo if we let Moral 4 go before... No, because she kills... Foxy? But we could do this. Here's what we can do. So then he will be at 7, and she'll be at 8. Uh, and I'm gonna freeze this. I think we can get a 4 combo here. Oh, but we need Snoof going down. I guess we can let her block. And ha, uh, it doesn't work though, because of Puffball. Okay, she would technically live though. She would take 5 poison. No, that's that's... That's a bad choice. That is a bad choice. I'm just gonna take a two combo this turn and then kill this thing next turn. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Get on out of here. Okay, so I think we're gonna be below the 150 mark that I try to aim for, but that's okay. Okay, I was hoping there'd be a Lily Snail. I might hit this Blink Snail Cave. Going into the shop. 74 is a great number to get from that. Maybe I should figure out the range of that. It feels like 40 to 80 or something like that. I wonder if it changes throughout the game too, I'm not sure. Okay, Chrono, Nutshell Cake, or Bonker. Chrono sounds great. I kind of 
kind of no further questions, right? Just take Chrono here. I have a lot of clunkers, I will say. But that's okay. I'm probably just going to get like a healthy companion, and this will be my setup, these three, and then uh, Pepper Flag, Moko, Totem, and Chrono. Nutshell Kick is an option. I don't have any defensive capabilities right now, but I think my defense is my offense at the moment. And we can get more, potentially, at these next treasure and the shop. Hmm. Mimic now has arrived. Hmm. Yeah, Mimic might be really good too, actually. Maybe I dropped Snoof already for this. I think I do. I mean, this is really strong, I think. I'm tempted to go look or look for a crown or a charm here. It's actually a lot of charms that could be a big deal. Or the or the berry blade could be pretty good. I could do both. Let's start with the charm and see what happens. Greed Charm. Okay, that is potentially really good. Start with the crown here. Probably just Greed Charming the Foxy or the Mimic. Yeah, maybe I could use this healing. I, I think I could use this healing. I also need to... Uh, don't have much backline access at the moment. But I think I'm going to go ahead and slap this right on Foxy. I know it's going to do technically more damage if, on Mimic if everything can attack with it. Ah, maybe that makes more sense then. Who am I giving the spice to? Foxy or Mimic? Probably Mimic, right? <clears throat> we could wait one combat because I'm not actually... I probably have like... Maybe one extra damage. Ah, that could be a, that could be a difference maker. I think this is fine, and I should do it. So, hmm, I don't have space. I don't have any space. Moko Totem can currently be like a blocker and die kind of guy. Or maybe I don't even play Moko Totem. I think I need a bit more spice to make Moko Totem work right now. I, I, I should have played Snoop, I don't know what I'm doing there. Just needed to pause for a second. Um, now I think I should snow this. Maybe I could take one. I do have a berry blade in hand, so it's not the end of the world if I take a little bit of damage here. It might actually be the best choice. Now I'm debating though, because uh, I could snow this thing, and then I would only take one from this guy. Might be the, might be the move. But also I could snow this, and then this Foxy can kill this mini Moko before it's gone up and attack the Infernoko attack. Decisions, decisions. Because right now this guy's gonna kill and give two, and I'm probably not gonna be able to prevent this at first attack. Ah, uh, I think it's okay. Maybe I can prevent this first attack. So two, four, two. Two, four. So six damage on this thing. Could even get a little faster. So we can do eight damage to the Infernoko. We can actually do so we can do this. We snow. I think we let Foxy tank here. We snow this. Foxy takes two. Moral four buffs this guy so he'll kill the Infernoko. This guy is very quickly transitioned though, we should keep that in mind. And what we could do is Berry Blade now. It's kind of bad that I didn't get my Pepper Flag out, isn't it? <sighs> do this. This. I hope I don't lose. Part of me thinks I could lose this. Yeah, 
thing about this. I don't really need my pepper flag out right now. I need it out when we're all first going again. I should have definitely thought about that though. I just didn't. Okay, so three damage is coming out. That's not the end of the world, and we are dishing out um, 12. Oh, four damage is coming out. That's important to note. I do this, but then I'm taking additional damage. I'll alternatively do this. Since this guy's going away here soon. I think this makes sense. I should slow this guy down, I think. Yeah, things are definitely getting a bit scary, though. I'm probably getting out as soon as I can, truth be told. Ah, uh, the Mogo Totem doesn't exactly help. Because, yeah, it just doesn't exactly help. It helps a bit. I can block this Mogo Totem now. I'm still 32 gold, so this isn't being triggered yet. But let's say next turn, I do this. Ah, then this guy wants to go. Yeah, lots of guys wants to go want to go next turn. But the thing is we could Moko Totem Ah. We could Moko Totem down now. But then Foxy has to die? That's Oh, what am I doing here? I don't want to lose Foxy. I could let Mimic die, maybe. Maybe I have to let Mimic die next turn. And then Foxy just bursts down in Pernoco as fast as he can. Let me think about this a little bit further. So, we take one here on Mocha Totem. And then next turn, we do this. Moral four. The Mimic is hit for 3, the Moral Fur is hit for 1, the Moko Totem, oh the problem is Frostinger also, or the, the Porcupine is going to go first, actually that's fine though right, yeah, the Porcupine going first is preferable, then Pernoko goes into, ah, yeah yeah this is fine, and then, and then I want to think about how much spice I have for Foxy. So Foxy's gonna have 5 damage times 3, which is 15, when he attacks. Which becomes 20 with Chrono. So we do this. And then Foxy... Oh wait. Oh duh, I didn't factor in this damage too. I've... Ah, this mini, this mini Moko is a nuisance to me. So this would help me get Infernoko down to... <sighs> I wish I was doing one more damage. So do 5-5, five, 5-5, five, five, 5 with Chrono. We put it to 11. Oh no, no, it's a 6. So 6 speed just isn't quite enough. That's the issue there. I think it's the only choice though. So we have too much damage coming. Okay, um, four damage on Chrono, three would go on to 
moral four, which would be bad. I don't have snow, do I? Okay, four damage kills Chrono, three damage kills Foxy, one damage hits Moral Four, and then I Sunrod and kill it, and am sad that Foxy is injured, but this is all that can be done. We're alive, importantly. That is the important thing. <gasps> oh, we're not alive. Oh, but we bury Blade. We bury Blade. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, I was I was calculating for Chrono, but Chrono was dying, of course. Wee wee! Oh my god. Okay, that was terrifying. Durian Charm is here to solve my problems, though. Yeah, I think it's just Durian Charm with Foxy. Stressful, stressful, stressful. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Take a deep breath. Whew. Okay, we can go down and get another crown. This Blinkstoke Cave. I've been pretty lucky with the nodes so far. I don't have any space, unfortunately, for any of this. No space. 62 gold is okay. Um, okay, now we're talking. There's a shell bow. Which I can't afford. That sucks. I'd like to afford that. Maybe... Maybe I could have considered Shobo Snowcake here. I could really use some defense. Maybe I do this. No, no, no. We should uh, crown... More... Things that attack, I think. And I'm gonna do this. No, oh, the injury. Yeah, the injury is a lot rougher actually with the Durian Charm. That's okay then. Oh, I'm so scrap pile. I usually really hate or don't think it's that good. But honestly, it might be good to take one for my for my potentially very weak clunkers. I have lots of pretty important things that can die in one hit. I might actually do this. I also want, I bet my journal, uh, I bet I haven't taken this yet. Scrap pile. And I should take that. No, I have taken it, okay. I think this might be a case where I should take scrap pile because I have so many very vital clunkers. Generally, I don't take this, but this is more data on the card, so. We'll see how it feels after this game. This feels like one of the cases that I should consider it. It's scary. Man. Okay. Snow stick here. For sure. Get berry blade now too, I should keep that in mind. Um yeah, let's let's berry blade now. That's fine with me. Okay, three, two, three, two. Could block or not, not let this thing attack. I can maybe let Mimic block the Gawk actually too. I'm gonna do this now, so in case I mess up, I don't lose the game. Ah, uh, I did not receive pepper flag. I think I'd like to go get that pepper flag now. I think it's quite important. So there is a demonized barrage happening. So we'll let it go on the leader, and then we'll drop a pepper flag. This is fine.
Okay, and we're going before these guys, importantly. The pygmy wants to attack again, though. Which is kind of uncool. This is sort of awkward, actually, isn't it? Because I kind of want Krona to be down here for Moral 4. I think that's actually a better use. The, the, the 4 extra damage is less important than, I think, the... A, 4 extra damage here, and then the, the 2 applications of Spice on Foxy. I guess I could just do this so this dies on first hit. Fine with that. Foxy's gonna go stupid, go crazy, go wild here. Okay, let's do Foxy Mimic Chrono. So 12 is a big number. I think I'm gonna have Berry Blade so it kills it in one shot. This guy's gonna demonize my entire team, huh? It's okay though. Ooh, look at that, I'm above the three, the two damage. Oh, everything's like dead. Hmm. I'd love to see a sunrod here. Yeah, we can just end it here. Alright, and now Foxy's no longer injured, which I would say would be a good thing. Let me preempt it. I have an alarm coming up here soon. I should turn it off. Let's just go crazy. I've started putting an alarm for uh, putting away my phone later in the day, so I don't look at it. I had like a. I downloaded this one thing that that tracks my stuff, and it was like, yeah, you use your phone like six hours. I'm like, hmm, six hours of my day. If I'm have a 16 hour day, in theory. That, <laughs> it's more than a third of my day. I mean, that's insane. I should be not using my phone that much. Usually I'm pretty good about it, but I think recently I've been I've been terrible about it. Okay, anyway, treasure, charm merchant. Oh, we could use another traveler. I would really like a healthy traveler. I need a tank really badly. I wish I had space for anything ever. I don't have any shrooms, so these aren't interesting. Mega Mimic would have been interesting if I had, uh, if I didn't need all this stuff. So we're skipping again. Please be something nice and beefy. I'll take like a big barrier or a wall up or something. Fire Fist actually is great, huh? I didn't even think about Fire Fist. I usually don't think about Fire Fist, but I'll take 12 HP. The effect I don't care that much about, but it is better than it normally would be because I have Pepper Flag. Newland Biscuit. Wow, they're showing me so many clunkers. They're showing me like every possible clunker. Uh, Newland Biscuit's great though. Newland Biscuit on like Berry Blade could be useful. Or even Scrap Pile maybe. Scrap Pile could be a pretty big source of my, my defense, truth be told. For the bigger hits, anyway. Uh, this combat is scary. Scary, scary. Oh, I rolled bad, too. I should have maybe thought about not... Jeez, <sighs> this is bad. Should have maybe considered not crowning this thing right away. The aimless is what makes this so brutal. This thing has a snow charm, huh? That's not a huge deal. I'm wondering if I should snow this, though. Thing is, I can only hit the Gromble once with Foxy or he dies. I probably can't. I probably can't attack with Foxy. I probably have to take Foxy out. Maybe this. I could definitely see this being useful. Maybe it's gonna be Fire Fist doing a lot of the work this this fight. Yeah, I, I don't think I should let this go off. Five three Yeah, just if Foxy hits again, it's it's bad. 
Alright, it is what it is. I guess I'll just double snow stick here. I think I want this. I think I want this fire fist doing some good work here. Yeah, that was always a possibility. That hurts. Oh. <sighs> There's a 5 damage thing coming in here too. Okay, so Fire Fist is tanking. Importantly. I think I'll let this happen actually. Or I could drop a Moko Totem actually up here. Maybe this is wiser. Fire Fist being at 10 here is great. Uh, Mimic might be a problem. Actually. If Mimic double hits Pawpaw, that would suck. Maybe Mimic dying is not the end of the world, though. Oh, this guy's over 14, or over 13 now, which is important, too. Oh, wait. My guy's not even attacking yet. Okay. Um, I think I'd like to heal... Ooh, let me just make sure Fire Fist can't die here. No, Fire Fist cannot die here, which is very important. I'm gonna hit this smog, I don't wanna be greedy here at all. <gasps> okay. We can't go that way. We have to go this way. I think 5 damage is actually pretty important to be at here, in case I double hit Paw Paw. Scary! Ah, oh, they just keep coming, huh? I didn't draw my berry blade. Okay, so what's what's coming up here? Pawpaw -paw attack is no big deal. I could double hit this pawpaw -paw here. Maybe I should have put that spice in the Moko totem. Would have been at six. But I feel like Mocha Dun is probably just blocking something for me. Let's do this. And this? And then we can have Moko Totem plus Chrono block next turn. Oh, we have a problem. I think we need to go look for snow. Actually, Fire Fist might die. So Fire Fist will kill both of these, actually. Let's see. Um, Fire Fist kills both of these. Both of these. Moral Horror hits two out of three of these. If Moral Horror hits Pawpaw, dies, and I do take three. The key is if I hit this twice, am I okay? So we have one attack, two attacks, then if this gets hit, we have one attack, two attack. So we could scrappy pile 
scrap <laughs> scrappy pile scrap pile this smoko totem these two block and then even if moral four hits uh this twice fire fist is still alive i think the pepper flag is going away unfortunately though Oh, no, it's not. It could have gone away. It was likely to go away, I think, even, but it was not the case. <sighs> All right, that's, that's a relief. This is hard. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get Foxy out now, and we'll freeze. We'll freeze Maja right before we attack. This, this will do it. Oh my. Alright, this game is stressful. That was a difficult fight for my offensive engine though, I will say. Foxy and Mimic not really being able to play was pretty bad. Uh, Alright, Blink Snow Cave to my Lumen Vase. I get my Lumen Vase now, which is... Pretty good, I think. I, I might put it on my leader, or maybe I can find some something defensive. Maybe it's okay on scrap pile. I've never done that. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, pepper. Lots of pepper. 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 Dragon pepper. Yes. Is it a spice stones game? <laughs> Maybe I can do spice stones actually, interestingly. Yeah, I very rarely take this as well. Okay, let's do it. Maybe it maybe a crown is no no no, I like spice stones. It's not that crazy for this particular fight, and I might already have way too much damage, but I think it's fine because I don't have much defense, so I really need to kill things quickly. Debating on uh I think I should probably just do Pepper Flag or Chrono with my crown. <clears throat> Let me think about it. If anything, I should loom in the Chrono. <sighs> um, let's do Chrono. Especially on Krunker, I think I just need to burst through this because I have no snow cake. Not having a snow cake sucks. Tiger Charm is scary. Kind of annoying too. Um, okay, no snow. These three are getting hit. Part of me thinks I need to. Maybe I sunrod now. Let's see, five, two, five. That's nice. Hit, and then maybe I look. Good. Maybe I just move on and look for snow. I really don't want to. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that thing also just got transitioned right away. Actually, I was not expecting that. Okay. So three damage now, that's much more manageable, and he's hitting his own guys now. I do have to keep in mind he's hitting his own guy with a tiger charm, which is scary. Now what are we thinking? I think I want to move on. Or I should... Ah, I'm not sure. I could even woodhead now, but I might want Woodhead to block something later. Oh, we could Woodhead. Might avoid this guy, for the most part. So I want this to happen. I'll do this. Okay, so we do four 
This goes to eight. This would be bad. Four. He has attacks, yeah, three times in a row. So it'd be four, four, four. Let's see. One damage, two damage, three damage. Do I really want to take six here? Not really? I could also take two and then, no, and then I die. That seems like a poor decision, too. I could also end the combat right now. Is there, I, I guess I could just end the combo. I think the kind of sucks. Alright. I'd actually do hit this guy too, so I do get one combo. Pretty low gold though. Oh boy. Alright. So we have a some bell of charge. I'm thinking these health charms could be really nice. Do I have a thing that gets consumed? New moon. Oh, and dragon pepper. Dragon pepper. Uh, maybe I, maybe I completely rearrange my crowns here because I could like lumen dragon pepper, put it on Foxy with a pepper flag already out, and then my Foxy is humongous. That's probably wiser, honestly. I think I'm gonna do both of these. I clearly have a lack of health. Um, Shade Sculptor. Okay, so we could do this on Dragon Pepper or Noomlin, and then uh, what I like about this is I'm gonna Lumen this, and it's getting bonus benefit. I could also Lumen the Noomlin, but. I think I like this because I want to copy this dragon pepper. I'm debating on either of these. <laughs> My leader being at 8 HP is kind of scary, but Foxy being at 4 HP is also scary, and I think Foxy's a much more important asset here. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is the most important asset, but Foxy's going to protect Moral 4 by killing everything, I think, in the ideal scenario. So I am switching things up. Oh, I don't quite have enough crowns to make everything perfect here. I would like one more crown. Because I would like Chrono to be crowned, I think. But I do think this makes sense to me. Because this will be a 14 spice right away. This guy will be a 19 uh, on a 3 turn timer times 3, which I think is good. Should cause or uh, make things a lot easier. I should also keep in mind I'm going into hogs though, and I have very little snow, <sighs> which is terrifying. Truth be told. I don't even know who's gonna block these hogs. Maybe I should not do this for this combat. I think I will do this though. Maybe maybe the crown on the lumen is superfluous. I think we're gonna have so much spice anyway. And maybe the crown's better on Fire Fist for the hog fight because there's gonna be they're gonna be I'm gonna be taking damage right away. Do I have Pepperfly crowned? Yeah. I think I'm fine with this. Sun Charm, scary. Okay, Pepperfly and Dragon Pepper. Although, I should have kept in mind that if I one shot everything, if I one shot the Warthog, it doesn't matter. They have Smack back. So we're fine with this. I could drop this Moko totem down. Okay, so Foxy's just gonna kill. Foxy's just gonna kill everything here. 
take a four combo. Okay. Now, I actually don't know. We can let her attack into nothing. She still applies this spice, actually, importantly. I kind of forgot about that. Also, now this gets this guy straight into 10 each or 10 spice territory with dragon pepper, another dragon pepper. Sort of like that idea. I'll not do that. I have the free turn, so I'll put a scrap pile on pepper flag. I guess I guess there's no real reason to do that. But... Uh, let's go look for snow. This is not snow. <clears throat> okay, so this does what? This dies to Warthog, but I think that's fine, actually. Oh, but then Fire Fist dies to Warthog, which we do not want. We do not want that at all. Remember that Mimic that I had? Not even playing around it at all. I should have maybe put the Greed Charm on Foxy in hindsight. It's fine though. Foxy's got plenty of damage. I don't have snow. I should just keep that in mind. I would like snow. Or I'll just let Foxy kill next turn. I don't think this should be that stressful actually now that I think about it. I can just kill the two hogs that are going to be doing the immediate damage and Fox I can go ahead and kill everything else. Yeah, so this is still a three combo. And then we can use Moko Totem with the Dragon Pepper, I think. Let's go ahead and drop the Chrono here. Okay. And I think we just going to actually do this so that when they come out, this is free. And this is cool with me. Okay. So the problem the problem with triggering this guy is he'll kill Razor and then the fight one. The problem with doing it here is he'll get smacked back once. But that's actually fine. One smack back will be fine. So we kill everything here. Excellent. Okay, this is a lot of cat. Oh. This is a lot of cash. This is still counts as the same turn, so I still get the combo. I forgot it was Noomlin. Alright. Excellent. So lots of cash for the final nodes. Hopefully a shop. Okay, molten dip, pink berry juice, spice sparklers. Okay, I actually think I now have pretty sufficient defense with these dragon peppers with the strawberry charm. I think that was a pretty huge pickup plus the heart charm that I got. Um, but I also think I have sufficient damage, so I don't know that I need the Molten Dip. Molten Dip is not spice, so I can't use things like Spice Stones for it. Maybe there's still an argument for Pink Berry Juice. There's just a lot of stuff in my deck, and I really, there's some key stuff that I want to get to. I think I can drop this crown now again. Okay. Yeah, it's Skipper Pinkberry is what I'm thinking. The Molten Dip is pretty strong if I want to end up going with like Mimic in the mix. I honestly don't know that Mimic is that crucial to my game plan at this point though. Yeah, 
Maybe Pinkberry's still solid. Um, I'm mainly thinking about my leader. Because I don't have a great way otherwise to increase itself. But no, like I said, I have the Dragon Peppers. I think that was a mistake. I think I should have skipped there. It feels weird to skip uh, good cards, but I think it would have made more sense here. Uh, Storm Globe is great to see on sale here. Yeah, that's actually a really important pickup. And I wouldn't have had enough for anything else, so that was nice. Could definitely use that snow. Okay, we have another crown. I could even spice stones right away. I mean, that's that gets pretty insane. It's this fight though. Maybe maybe spice stones on the next fight, but maybe this fight I should do mimic so I kill all the the clunkers early or chrono to kill all the clunkers early. I think mimic makes sense because then chrono gets. Uh, Chrono triggers the, the Mimic an additional time. Let's do this. I think I will switch to Spice Stones next, though. Okay, there's a Spike Wall here. Danger. And a Rock Hog. I guess since I have the Mimic out, should I be considering Dragon Pepper on the Mimic? Probably. Interestingly, I could also do something weird with Mini or Moko Totem with Dragon Pepper. I'm kind of doing lots of research this game, just be told. It's not like spice is that complex of a of a keyword, but like we have the strap pile, we've got Spice Stones, we got a Moko Totem. These are things I don't typically take. Unless the situation calls for it. I think I'm just gonna do this. I got very few charms this game, didn't I? Overall. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't draw snow, did I? I should go look for snow. Foxy's attacking next turn. I should go. I should have snow for next turn. Yeah, we cannot afford to be doing all that business. So, I just need to be make sure I'm not hitting this Frost Guardian too hard. Maybe at all. So right now we do 15. No, we should not have Mimic here, I don't think. I think we should just kill all the, yeah, we'll kill all these guys. One, two, three, four. This is actually great, this is perfect. Yeah, and then this guy's nice and, nice and calm. Only doing zero. And then we can go ahead and Boost up our boys. Maybe I'll maybe I'll now do this. Could Noonland my pink berry here too. Maybe I will. Okay, that's good. There's a Mega Mimic, but I think everything dies. Everything super dies. The Mega Mimic is scary. Because the Me Mega Mimic is going to be behind the Guardian. And not killed yet. Something to keep in mind. And the Dragon Pepper is a bit unnecessary here. Maybe I just start sniping this thing. I could do this. I guess I'll just do this. Then. Maybe I'll start hitting this thing now. Whatever. I would like to heal this thing, but it's not a big deal. All right, Uber Bear, go ahead and end my reign. Ooh, no Uber Bear. 
Wait, is this thing just like dead? Not quite. Yeah, so very scary. We should... Okay, we've got a storm blow. We also have the sun run. We'll just stand in combat here. I should have... I should have brought these guys out, though. There was an Uba Bear, though, in there, to be fair. I'll still get a three combo. I just forgot I had a Greed Charm. And that the gold is actually somewhat relevant. Okay, okay, okay. Let's think about this. We need to consider what we want to do with crowns here. So if we do the Lumen Vase, Dragon Pepper, plus Spice Stones, we are at 14, uh, 28 Spice, so 33 times 3 on first attack. That seems good. That seems good. And my boys would be quite healthy, too. Or, okay, the other thought was doing something with Moko Totem. I don't think I need to. I don't think there's a point to put Spice into this guy if he's not gonna... If he's just gonna kill himself. <laughs> I wonder if... I think if this read negative one and you had two possibilities to... Uh, use this, this might get more value on the heart. I think this card is especially good in mid-game, but I think at this point like it just makes more sense to spice up my Foxy. If I could manually trigger him too, or like if this triggered at 30 spice, obviously it'd be terrible uh, in most cases, but for this case I'd prefer it to be a much higher spice when it attacks. Right now, if I trigger it with one Dragon Pepper, it just attacks for, what, 14 times 5, 70, um, and then goes away. Don't think that's worth it. So, yeah, this is fine with me. I think this makes sense to me. I think we should be good here. I'm going to blast the Jailer in one, one fell swoop. There's an argument to go kill Crusher first, to be honest. Because I don't have snow to stop him. Maybe I will. And then I can storm globe this thing. I think I will. And then I can send Pepper Flag up to the bomber, is that right? No. No, we should send it down. Yeah, we should send it down. Because I'm not going to be able to attack twice with Foxy in that time. Spice stones. Okay. And question is do we chrono as well? Probably do chrono. Wait, let me think about this. So if I chrono and then I dragon pepper the foxy, I'll be doing 40 times 4. Which doesn't quite kill the bomber in time. I think the bomber is going off. I think we can accept that as the truth. It's arguably still worth it to do the 40, 40, 40, and then 40. Because then my next swing. I don't know. I guess I could chrono and scrap pile too. I didn't think about that. I think I'm storm gluing here. The question is, do I want to scrap pile this pepper flag? I probably do. Probably more important than the than the chrono. Truth be told. Let's go ahead and do this. It is definitely more important than the chrono. I think I will do this. Foxy's doing just fine on his own. He'll kill both of them. He'll take four maybe, but it's not a big deal. We'll get Fire Fist down. Mm, I could maybe prevent this too, actually. Uh, I should keep in mind that this is potentially lethal. 
to my fire fist. Very blade is getting removed as we currently stand. Um, okay, I do have snow. So let's just snow this thing. Firefist could still die. But Firefist dying is not, not important. I don't think. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Firefist could die. Ideally it hits Pepper Flag or Moral for either is fine, but it's all good. Thing. Now I think we can Okay, let's think. This is attacking for a tremendous amount. Next turn. I think I just am gonna drop Woodhead down to block it. Then we, we can shift the, the Pepper Flag up now while the Mimic attacks and get this extra benefit. And now Foxy is going to go ahead and kill these two. And out of fear for my life, I'm simply going to do that. And now we can go ahead and let the pepper spike block, and or sunrod here. We could also snow it, but this is fine. All right, nice. Here we go. I got a little spicy run in. That was very nice to see. Yeah, sometimes you get a uh, pepper flag on the first treasure, and you have a spice leader. And that is when you should go with the flow. Okay, thank you so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time.